Go and pay wages, Jabba. We're all bloody skint, you know. Brassic. We're all brassic. Gemma's paying wages because we're all skint, buddy. Okay. I'm super skint. Go down to the last couple of hundred quid in account. Right then. It's here. There we go. A couple of boxes. So these should be the board fittings, the board clamps for the uh, decking outside, which we've actually got almost completed. Let's have a look out of the window, see what she looks like. Oh, look at that. She looks grand like petal. So I think we just hang some banners on that scaffolding. Pub of the year 2019-2018, eh? Consecutive. All right, pooch. Right then, let's have a look in this box. Make sure that we've got everything that we need. So these, well, the ship has well and truly sailed, hasn't it, folks? Now he gets the spanner. Well, it fits the nuts, anyway, that's a good thing. All day I could have done with that yesterday. So they're the board clamps. You know, basically around the pole and hold them down. Brand spanking new. Well, we've got one box there. I wonder why they sent them in two boxes. It's not like they're too heavy. It's all the same stuff. Let's chuck them all in there then. Get rid of that. Right, next job. Well, you might not be able to see much of what we've done, but here are some of the plants that we've inserted into the uh, the beer garden. So I'm sure this summer we'll get some lovely effect off these. Big ones at the back, medium ones in the middle, small ones at the front. So what I'm going to do at the minute is get back down on the scaffolding and put some proper board clips in as and where they're needed to retain these boards because we don't want them moving if anyone goes on this over the weekend so uh, yeah try out my new my new scaffolding spanner okay. check it out and all of this lovely jubbly People who were walking on the canal, up in the canal, they were looking for bloody gold coins, anything, any rubbish they chucked in. Was there a lot of rubbish at the bottom oh, then? Oh, masses. And, uh, uh, apparently, the, 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 um, there was a sort of a culvert from the canal to the River Idol. Yeah. And uh, which was used for, for drainage purposes and well, repairs of the canal. But it, the, the plans for the canal, 1777, had been lost in bombing raids on Sheffield. And so they knew of a culvert up towards Mistleton, they didn't know about this one. It was totally unknown. And so, so what they did, they, they had to put dye down to the raining water and then finally came out at the River Idol, which was really a channel back must be about half a mile, three quarters of a mile long, yeah. into the idol. So they could use it to drain off this section. You see. And uh, so this story went hanging on with a Oh dear, someone must pulled the plug out paper from the time to the Sunday school. It's true. <laughs> but the canal one, it, it was a major story. <laughs> well, yeah, we've read upon it.
What a beast of a day! It's already pretty early, I think it's only two o'clock. Still not eaten. I promised myself I would as well. So we're gonna have to go and get some food shortly before we pick the kids up. Is it worth waiting for tea time? Because they'll want theirs when we do finally get them. Anyway, let's go and have a look at this is as finished as it's going to get. I know I keep saying that and then doing a little bit more. But yeah, this is pretty much it. So I do need, like I said, I do need to put another support pole in there. I want to bring that safety rail round and then put a vertical in. And also the same that end. Just bring the safety rail round and then a diagonal brace and a vertical. That should be it. Some duckies. Oh, very own flyby. So last night I absolutely scoured the internet trying to find the rules and regulations for doing something like this and it comes under almost the same as if you lived in a house and the canal was at the bottom of your garden so if you was going to put a mooring there you'd have to pay for mooring rights from the canal and rivers trust but we're not putting a mooring there people aren't going to moor there we've simply tidied up the bank and uh, as you can see from the other side the whole thing's on the bank and i sound like i'm trying to convince myself but unless anyone can find anything to the contrary that's as good as I can do for finding out the legalities of uh, of what is actually there. Well, we did come home. And now we've got to go back to work because Stuart says there's an issue with one of the chillers. He says that the cider and the lager is coming out warm. So we're going to have to go and sort that out. Pretty sharpish like because it's Friday night and we'll probably be selling a lot of it. Let me get in McDonald's. Don't tell everybody. <laughs> right, I've had a quick look at it. No ice bank. It's warm. So something's gone wrong on that machine, which was bought from EWL. Uh, so there should be a warranty on that. We've not had it running for six months. But I'll take the front off anyway and we'll have a look. The recirc flow jet pump's working. The green light's on. We'll see if the fan, the fan, the cooling fan's working outside. Well, I'm guessing that the stat's gone. I've got it apart here. Doesn't seem to be any pressure and there's no continuity between these two contacts. And because I haven't really got time to get into the gubbins of this whole shebang, into the motor, what I'm going to do is just wire up an STC in line and plug it in to the socket up there and hopefully that will just sort us out for the weekend. Fail that, I'm going to have to have another rethink. But you can see what we've got in here. This is the transformer that powers the heat dump outside. That's the glycol pump to recirculate the glycol. And then down at the back, through there, just at the back there, that's a, that's a heat exchanger. And then of course that there is the main compressor for the cooling system. So I'm just gonna basically join this wire and uh, wherever it's gone, this wire together. And that should give us, um, via the STC of course, and that should give us power to the unit. Right, I think we've nailed it. So we're sitting at 17.3 at the moment. Everything's on. And I've set it for minus four like that one. So we'll see how we get on with it. Should be okay. It's dropping. Yeah, the temperature's dropping. I think we've cracked it. I'll hang about for 15 minutes just to make sure that it turns off when it hits the set point. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait 15 minutes on now. And then we'll shall see if we've nailed it. And if so, then I can go home. 
So we'll catch you on tomorrow's vlog, because that's it. It's getting late now. See you then.